A break in at the home of an LA mayoral candidate, Congresswoman Karen Bass, says thieves stole guns from her home. And tonight, police are asking for your help to track down those responsible. KCAL 9's Lauren Posen is here now live with more on that break in and the candidate's response. Lauren. Well, Christine, when we were out there today, we saw a handful of patrol cars in U.S. Representative and L.A. mayoral candidate Karen Bass's neighborhood. Detectives were also knocking on doors, talking to neighbors. With a little less than two months before voters head to the polls to elect L.A.'s next mayor, the front runner in the race says two guns were stolen from her Baldwin Vista home. Congresswoman Karen Bass says she came home Friday night, saw someone broke into her home and called police. She didn't specify what types of guns were missing. In a statement, she said in part, at this time, it appears that only two firearms, despite being safely and securely stored, were stolen. Cash, electronics and other valuables were not. It's unnerving. And unfortunately, it's something that far too many Angelinos have faced. Investigators spent a lot of time Saturday in Bass's neighborhood and in a release from LAPD, though they didn't mention Karen Bass by name and don't mention the guns, they describe a burglary in her same area and the same details, saying they are looking for this man caught on security camera, wearing a black surgical mask, blue baseball hat, dark clothing, and black sneakers. Crimes like this are a top issue for voters. LAPD says so far this year, there's been over 9,800 burglaries reported. That's up 15% from last year, or roughly 1,300 more burglaries. Bass faces off with fellow Democrat Rick Caruso in the November election. Loyola University law professor and political analyst Jessica Levinson says the big takeaway from Bass being a victim of crime is that it will put a spotlight on an issue at the heart of the election. It gives us a moment to talk about crime and to think about how the candidates are approaching it, but probably doesn't change their vote when it comes to what they're going to do in November. Now, if you recognize a suspect police are looking for, they want to hear from you. Call Crime Stoppers at 1-800-222-TIPS. That number is right there on the bottom of your screen. Christine, back to you.